Welcome guys uh, to, I think this would be my first video lesson uh, that I'm sending out to you guys. All right, so uh, this is the chapter on semiconductor diodes. Uh, first of all, what we are going to talk about are a couple of things. One, let me uh, annotate, yeah. Okay, let's, let's use a black. Okay, so a couple of things that I want to go through with you guys. First of all, what are semiconductors and what are diodes, okay? So uh, to start from the basics, um, when you are talking about electronic products, now inside almost every electronic product, you're going to find uh, things like uh, transistors and diodes and stuff like that. And these things are made from silicon okay and yes you find silicon in sand now uh so silicon it's it's quite an interesting uh element uh it's known as a semiconductor uh that means it's not really a conductor neither is it really an insulator it's it's kind of somewhere in between all right so uh if you look here if you look here, here I have poor electrical conductivities. These are called insulators. Insulators. And over here, I've got very good con electrical conductivity materials. Um, best stuff is gold, yeah? But not everything can be made of gold. And somewhere in between insulators and gold, we have semiconductors. And one such example is silicon. Okay, so um, yeah, so a, a lot of uh, components are made of uh, silicon semiconductors. Yeah, so that's what a semiconductor is. Not really a insulator, neither is it fully a good conductor. And these are more um, stuff that they use. Uh, semiconductor diodes to, to make LED traffic lights, LED lamps. And uh, part two that I want to talk about is the structure of a semiconductor diode. So now you know what a semiconductor is. I want to go through with you what a diode is now. Okay, outcome, learning outcomes. Know that there are two types, N-type, P-type. Okay. And you have to know the basic structure of the PN junction diode. So what in the world is an N-type and what in the world is a P-type? Okay, so these are, this is a, a diode. Uh, this is a LED. You all have seen what an LED looks like. You have played with it in um, ALP, yeah? So did you know that it's actually a diode? Now you do, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, the three common semiconductors, silicon, germanium, and gallium arsenide. Right, so um, depending on the application, they use uh, different types, uh, but that's not part of your syllabus. Now, what I do want to talk about is doping. Yes, doping. Yes, you heard me right, doping. Uh, doping, okay? So, like I said, uh, semiconductors are not really good conductors, but we can make them good conductors by adding in stuff. Uh, and depending on what we add in, we end up with an N-type or a P-type. Okay, so to kind of find out more with a better illustration, uh, what I do need you to go is to go to YouTube. Uh, look for a video called How Does a Diode Work from Learning Engineering. Go and search for this video. Um, it's quite a good video with a good uh, illustration here. Okay, uh, pause, pause it now. Go and look at this uh, YouTube video and then come back. Okay, so hopefully you've seen that video and kind of know what doping is and why there's something called a depletion region and so on and so forth. So when we dope a pure semiconductor, depending on what we dope it with, we can end up with an N-type or we can end up with a P-type, okay? And when we put the N-type and the P-type together, 
we end up with a PN junction. Okay, a PN junction. And what this happens is that uh, we now have made ourselves a diode. If you have from the video, if I put a P-type and an N-type together, squash them together, uh, in between them over here, I will end up with something called a depletion region. This is not really in your syllabus, but just know that this depletion region uh, makes it very hard for the charges to go in one direction, but makes it very easy for the charges to go in the other direction. Yeah. So if I were to give you a real uh, diode, uh, the band is where the cathode is, and the end without a band is called the anode. Okay, so this is where you attach the positive, and this is where you attach the negative. All right. Okay, so uh, hopefully, uh, if you, if I were to ask you a question now, describe the purpose of doping a pure semiconductor, you should be able to tell me that it is to increase its conductivity. Okay, and name the two types of semiconductors. Pause. Yes, I'll end up with either P-type or a N-type. Okay, describe the basic structure. You should know that I have a P-type and N-type. This is your P-N junction. Okay. This is your cathode, and this is your anode. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here. I've gone through uh, 7.1. Um, pause the video here, go and uh, relook through and um, listen to my wonderful voice again, describe to you what a semiconductor is and what happens when I dope it and what happens when I put the two types of dope semiconductors together. Make sure you understand it before I go on to the next part of the video. Okay, so uh, see you in a while.